I was saying without the adaptation mechanism in the country, a 15% decrease of rainfall per year will result to 16% decrease on average yield of maize by 2030, which is equivalent to loss of an around 1 million tons per year. On the other hand, there have been occurrence of floods that have destroyed infrastructure such as roads, railways and bridges, which cost the government large amount of funds to repair and damage it. Uh, the damages. So in addressing the challenges posed by climate change, adaptation and mitigation measures have been undertaken in the country, but as I, I said before, still uh, a lot is desired to be done. And in light of the upcoming COP2016, Tanzania calls for a transparent modality of, for financial disbursement. And this has to be discussed by the African countries during the COP26. My sisters, when it comes to gender and climate change, it suffice to say that the empowerment of women will significantly enhance the effectiveness of adaptation and mitigation efforts at all levels and advance the implementation of the sustainable development goals. My country is ready to work with the international community to address the challenges of climate change in the context of Paris Agreement within the agreed principles and obligation of the Convention and SDGs. And on this note, I feel I owe a lot to other women. Will agree with me that women have been visibly invisible outside their homes despite being at the heart of so many issues related to the global goals of hunger, education, health, water and sanitation, economic growth, and many more. It is therefore my personal endeavor during my leadership to ensure that as a country, gender equity and parity is reached in all walks of life. I'm also intending to put more efforts in emancipation of women or from the grips of abject poverty and closing the economic gender gap. And this is, I'm talking here about the access to credit, of which um, is still a challenge to many women in the informal sector. Here in my country, in Tanzania, we have taken some steps to initiate or to put a special act on the Local Government Authority Financial Act of 2018, whereas um, the act directs 10% of what is collected on the local government as to go for women 4%, youth 4%, and the disabled people 2%. And this is a free interest loan. So we have such steps, but we still need to do something more. I wish to thank the UN, the esteemed organization, for its invaluable contribution in promoting country development through its various projects and programs. My country welcomes the reforms of the UN development system which aim to align it with the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, as well as better respond to the needs of member states. It is on that note that I call for an enhancement of representation of the developing countries such as Tanzania in the system, especially on the selection of resident coordinators, as well as recruitment of UN National Development Coordinations office staff Habari zilizo tufikia hivi punde GNM Cargo kampuni ya usafirishaji wa mizigo kutoka China kuja Afrika Mashariki inatimiza miaka kumi ya uaminifu kuhudumia wana Afrika Mashariki mwandishi wetu Minho ana taarifa zaidi Kama unavyoona tuma pesa zako kwa wakala wako China
Kazi nyingine tuachie sisi GNM mkago tukupakilie mzigo tukusafirishie kwa niaba yako tukague kwa niaba yako kwa bei nafuu Kwa mawasiliano zaidi tupigie kupitia 0677 0665551 GNM Kago, we voyage your dreams